happening right now. A city council committee is considering a plan to spend nearly $2 million on motel rooms and other places for the homeless to stay. Just one part of a city push to find shelter for those who lack it. But some are questioning some of these efforts. KCTV 5's Carolina Cruz is live for us now at City Hall with more. Carolina. Well, Carolyn, that meeting was supposed to start at four and it did start a little bit behind schedule about an hour and a half. So we've only heard from the city manager's office so far. They did mention a bit of a bigger plan for this houseless issue. So they say through the task force on houselessness, they would be doing checkups. It would be a 90 day, a six month and a one year checkup for anybody going through the program. But some are a little concerned about more of those long term uh, solutions, as well as what happens to people who maybe don't want to go to some of these hotels or motels. Fourth generation restaurant owner and chef Jasper Mirabili Jr. lives to serve others. I'm a feeder. That's my job. I am a chef. My family. We have been in business now since 1954. It's hard to do his job well when he's constantly worrying about what's happening outside his restaurant. People don't know what's really going on in the background. The drugs, the needles that we clean up in our parking lot and in the park every day. The drinking nonstop, the fighting, harassing my customers, coming in my dining room following customers into the dining room begging for money. He's had problems with people experiencing homelessness going to the bathroom on his patio, and on Monday, they stole aprons from the dry cleaning cart so his staff didn't have uniforms. I've said it a 100 times, my hands are tied. We need help. The city's current solution involves a nearly $2 million contract for temporary shelter options, including motels and hotels. Community members showed up to City Hall to voice their concerns with the homelessness issue in their neighborhoods. I understand the COVID kid, uh, but this was way before the COVID. You just can't do it and then just walk away. It's got to be some, something in place where they can uh, monitor the area, monitor the people. Mirabili is urging the city to act with more permanent solutions. But I am worried. You know, I don't want customers to say, I'm not going to go down that area because what's going to happen in the parking lot? I'm going to have to hire security guards myself. That's what's going to happen. That's the impact because I can't lose my customers. One council member has expressed some issue with some of the language in this $2 million contract in the ordinance. She says that it states that temporary government shelters or sponsored shelters could be placed on any city owned property or any city leased property without any regard for the residents or businesses in the area. And that meeting is still underway right now, so we'll have an update for you later. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Carolina.